Good afternoon, uh, traders. Getting to you late today with this video. Something came up. Had to go take care of it. Um, <clears throat> so we're looking at the NASDAQ two minute time frame. And we have divergence. Of course. Of course. It's always divergence. Successful divergence. Okay. And the entry short would have been right there. So either you sold it right here or you waited for a pullback. If you got the pullback, it got in here. Right here and it went down. 320 ticks potential. Let's see if that is in alignment with the stop. So from here to here, it's probably more. Oh, it's a little less. 287. You would have you would have hit if you would have put you know your orders in the right place, everything would have been good. You could have took two, you know, 200, 300 ticks from it, 300 points, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and then let's make this a little bigger. And we got to remove that one now. We had more. Yeah, more divergence. Right there. I done this trade. It was good to me. And right there. Okay. It's hidden divergence. This one going up. This one going down. Excuse me. This one definitely would have hit target. So if you got in right there at the 600 level, okay, so right there, your stop right at the swing low is 280, okay? Now let's drag it up. Remember that number? 357, see? So you would have got that one too, one to one risk loss ratio. Okay. It's the second successful trade. And then you know what we have up here. It's very easy to see it. Double top, double top divergence, that is. And that down here to this, something like that. You would have sold it here. right there went down 186 uh, points and your stop would have been 186 so that would have been close because the, the stop was equal to the take profit okay so that's one two didn't put the arrow on here yet Three successful divergence trades, okay? Then we went into shit, yeah. We went into the the grind, the sidewinder as I call them. Um, I don't know, I think we'd be like finished trading by then. That's all I can say. After that, who would want to do that? However, I'll mark this last one in quickly just to show you. Another double top. Major resistance here, if you look on a higher time frame. And they didn't want to break through it. Instead, they just wanted to sell off of it. Remember yesterday I told you that professional support and resistance traders sell off of resistance and buy off of support. And they sold off resistance here and here. And down we came both times. Okay, so this one to the downside, which you would have got in right here, there was potential of 244 points. Which you would have hit a would have hit because your stop, which goes at the swing high, always at the swing high, was 125. 
and your potential was two, 237. Okay, there it is. Okay, so we're done with the NASDAQ. Let's see here now. MES. Where are you, you little fucking mess? Okay. A lot more difficult with this. I don't even know if I want to mark it up, but this is the five minute. <clears throat> See this here? Like, they kept coming down here and buying off the bottom. They took it up. Look at how much of a mess it is on the Osma. That kind of tells you don't trade. It's chopping. It's a fucking chopping. But anyway, <clears throat> I wouldn't even call that divergence. Um, it's just a mess is what it is. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Let's go look at MetaTrader. Or should we bring MetaTrader over? There, bring it to the chart. This is the NASDAQ, five, five minute this time, okay? And it was a mess here too. I see one trade up here is like a double top. And there's the divergence. And there was the entry down. Went down 45 points. And that's around the stop is around 47 points. So that was the only trade that I could see. Um, actually, no, there's another one. Let's swing from high to high. Oh, no. Uh, nope. Something like that. Double top. Come on. And then we'll swing this one over here to this right here. And there is your trade right there. We got short, stop at the swing high, 30 points. Went down 60 points. There's two to one win-loss ratio on that trade. Okay, let's move on now to the S&P. Five minute, we should have a trade like that and just like that yeah. yeah there it is so you would have got short in there and it went down 99 points or no 10 points it's the s p and you only had a six point stop let's take a look at the dow what wild thing did it do oh big trends Had to drink some water there. So there's no there's no trade from down here, okay? There's no trade from this pullback either. There's no hidden divergence here. No, nothing. Don't always have trades. But what we did have is lower close, buy it up, it goes. Lower close, buy it up, it goes. And one last lower close, buy it up. It goes, I probably wouldn't have done the trade up here because we came all the way from fucking down here and it would have been too high at that point. But this one and this one's okay. This is like mid-range in here. You would, have, you would have made something on it, especially if you would have done this one. Okay, you would have. 165 points to the top on that one. Okay, let's move on now. Pound dollar. We have 15 minute time frame. Pound dollar. We have higher highs and uh, higher, the lower high on the indicator. And where would your entry point be? Well, it would it would have been right on the opening of this candle. Okay. And it came back up <laughs> very close to your stop. Your stop is always at the swing high in a sell trade and always at the swing low in a buy trade. So if that didn't freak you out and scare you the fuck out, 
because remember we got in here so it came back up to here and your stop would have been like fucking oh four pips points four pips no this is the pound dollar four pips away your stop would have been you could have put a bit higher another five up you would have been okay and as you can see it dropped like a hot stone after that and then did this shit you know there's no hidden divergence right here because this mountain here needs to be taller than this one so there was no sell trade in here but then we got a low and a lower low okay there's the lower lows like I tell you every day how fucking important the lower lows and the higher highs are. And there you go again. So we have a buy trade right in here, probably just above this row of wicks here. I would have bought it right there. Boom. And it went up 24 pips. That's a pound dollar. Let's see if the euro did anything special. Let's put it on the 15. Yeah, we had divergence up here in the Asia session. And your and your cell would have been in here somewhere, and it went down. And you would have been good. And then we had, oh, I got to gotta put the arrow on. So I'm thinking right there. Wait for a pullback, sell it, down it goes. How much did it go down? I went down about 53 pips. Then we had hidden divergence mid-range, which is now mid-range, right here. And right here. So, oh, my hand's cramping up. He would have got short in there. Went down 35 pips. Then we have a low and a lower low, but we have no divergence here. But we can I'll just leave it there. We have low and lower low right there, lower lows. Okay, from here right up to there. You would have got long here at the end of the day. I don't know if that would be a good time to trade. It didn't go anywhere. Okay, that's a euro. What about the pound yen? Oh, <laughs> it's a little ugly today. <laughs> Air. No, bear. Bear your ugly head. <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on. 15 minutes. Oh, fuck. Yeah, 15 minutes. Look at this. Higher highs. Not again. Yeah, again. Higher highs. And you would have got in somewhere in mid-flight. There was just below these wicks here and 191. It's been stuck around 191 forever. So if you got in short here, your stop would be 65 pips because your stop is always at the swing high in a sell trade and always at the swing low, the closest, nearest swing low in a buy trade. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. 53 pips right there. Then we had a triple bottom divergence right there. Okay. Triple bottom, not double, triple. Yeah, right there. And again, at the at the highs here, you would have had to get in mid-flight because you sure as fuck aren't going to buy it way up here. So you would have got in somewhere like about right there, right? Right there. Boom, up we go. Stop loss was at the swing bottom, 38, 39 pips. Did it go 38? Yeah, it went up 64 pips. That's pretty cool. And that is the pound yen. We had a sell and we had a buy. And both of them were fast movers when, when you did it. Okay, and then the Euro Yen. That's a five, five minute. Here's the 15. Uh, see, I like the MetaTrader platform because you just click the fucking button in the middle of your mouse, the scroll wheel, and the crosshair appears and then you can hold down your 
right or left mouse button and you can drag it and you can find the fucking amount of pips. You can't do that on fucking Ninja Trader. And I, I wrote them an email and I said, look at this. Why, why don't you fucking do this to yours and fix it? You think they would? No. Oh, I'll put, we'll put that in as a suggestion. Yeah. And they never done it. And you know when that was? It was like over 10 years ago. I made that suggestion and they won't do it. And it's just retarded. Yeah, it's retarded. Okay, we have... Yeah, we have the same fucking... Fucking fuck shit. Double top, I guess he could say. Double bottom, I guess he could say. I don't fucking know. Triple bottom. Forget this part. So where would have you got in on this one when it broke through these wicks here, through there? And then if you got in, you know, right there, let's say you jumped in. Well, it went down 75 points on the Euro Yen. And this one here, you would have got long right in here after it breaks these wicks. At least I would anyway, right there. And it went up 65 pips, same as the other fucking trade. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I need to finish drawing the lines. Yeah, that's it. That's a Euro Yen. Successful divergence all over town. There it is. Okay, um, let's look at oil now. What did it do? Oh, I got it on the hourly. No, no. Let's look at this here now. Maybe the 15 minute? Fuck, I don't know. <sighs> Not really. I think we have to go back to the five. There's no divergence to sell in here in the UK session because this mountain needs to be less than this side of the mountain. And then we came down here. Well, okay, well, let's let's do this here. Oh, yeah, you're going to disappear on me. Come on back, you little bitch. All right. We have a triple bottom, double bottom, whatever you want to call it. And we have it from here into there. And you would have got long right in there. When the five crosses up above the seven. <laughs> yeah, and look, didn't cross down here, didn't cross down here, didn't cross down here. And it just went all the way up. Gotta love that five EMA and seven EMA displacement one on the seven EMA. Every once in a while, I gotta throw that in there. And also, I got to throw in, I'm not a fucking financial advisor. I don't tell you to buy anything or sell anything or smoke anything. Nothing like that. I can't do that. That's against the law. So, if we got in here, it went up 200 and f fuck, what is that? Oh, oil, yeah. It went up 244 fucking points, man, from the bottom of the fucking... UK session over here. As I told you before, these lines here, these boxes, this is from 3 o'clock in the morning EST till 8. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock EST on this side of it. And then 8 o'clock is when the the you the, <laughs> the learn how to talk session starts. <laughs> the, the, the New York City. NYC. Starts to trade, and uh, we had we had a trade in here for the New York. It's right here. Just go like that, draw it like that. It's hidden divergence, which what I call in my course hard to see divergence. Why did I name it hard to see it? Hard to see divergence because it's fucking hard sometimes to see it. It's hiding. It's hard to see. Very hard to see. So if you would have got, oh, we got to put our little arrow 
right there. So if we got long, you know, it went up 189 points. That's oil, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very good trade today. They brought it up to $77 up here. <clears throat> and what was it th the other day? Yeah, like here. 74. Look at that. He took it up three fucking dollars. I guess that must be that that situation there. I can't, you know, can't can't name this stuff on on here, but there was a, a situation out east. Far out east. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll slow down my fucking flow for people to come here. Fuck. Crazy world. Okay, that's oil. We have one more. We got gold. What did it give us? <sighs> Triple top. This is gold. And there's the divergence. Okay, and you would have got short right here in the beginning of the USA session right here. So if you would have sold it here, this is gold. It went down 164 points, and then we have a low and a lower low, but because it dragged it down so far, there's no divergence to buy it in here. No divergence in there, ladies and gentlemen. However, we do have... Oh. In the lower closed. Buy it up it goes. Here is a hook down right here. Because it closed below the both moving averages. Then when the next one rallied up and closed up above them, you would have got long right there. It would have gave you drawdown of about 28 points. But if you held on, it went up 80 points to the top. 80 points. Yeah. And here is another trade along the way. We got low and lower low. I like this. Okay. This is gold, ladies and gentlemen. Gold. And it went up. 60, 60 points. So let's check out the crypto, Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin bounced up halfway from that drug down. XRP still hanging out at 57 cents around. It did not recover back up yet. And silver, silver still sitting in the same spot. What about Ethereum? Oh yeah, Ethereum popped back up halfway from the measurement of this candle, I mean. And that's it for today. Uh, I want to thank you for coming out and watching and listening. It's really appreciated. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do. It's free to subscribe. And if you like what you saw here today, just hit that like button for me. That would be good. All right. Thanks uh, for being patient to come and watch my video today. I had something to do. Something came up. I had to go away from the computer. Uh, so have a good day. Good luck and good trading.